update video right now on how I clean my sneakers. I do this on a regular basis. Every time I wear my shoes, I try to clean them to make them look fresh. And um, I did make a video previously. If you check my older videos, but I did make some changes on how I clean my shoes. So as you can see right here, this is like the one my, my um bread fours. I wear this shoe a lot. You can see the bottoms dirty. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean these shoes for you in front of you so I show you how I do it. First thing I do is I use scrubbing bubbles, bathroom cleaner. You can get this, um, I get mine at Target and I think it's like two dollars for a big can like this. Okay, shake it up. Alright, you want to lay out a towel on the floor. And uh, basically what you do, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand because I'm holding my camera. But you're going to spray the bottoms. So, just spray the bottoms, leave them on the towel like that. Um, let the scrubbing bubbles penetrate the dirt. Okay, so all the dirt is just going to leak out onto the towel. So I'm just going to do one shoe for now. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit here for, you know, a couple minutes, maybe like a minute or two. And um, then I'm going to come back and wipe it off. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit. So as you can see, I let it sit for a while. Most of the um, the liquid has fell off and you see the dirt on the towel right here so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna grab a, a cloth it's a dry rag I'm gonna take this shoe and let me just wipe this down wipe the bottoms down okay see all the dirt onto the rag so it's not going to take off all the dirt but it did take off a good amount of it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take scrubbing bubbles again and I'm not going to spray all over the place but just a little bit here and there now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this is a brush that I got from Target as well it's a scotch bright it's a hand and nail brush, and I think it's like a dollar or a dollar fifty. And I use this because it's easier to handle. It's a lot easier than using a toothbrush. So you want to just scrub it, brush it, okay? The harder you do it, the better. I'm gonna do this and then after I'm gonna get the rag again and wipe it off. Try to get into all the cracks, the grooves. The main part you wanna focus on is the white part. Alright. Okay, so now I take the rag again, and again I'm going to wipe the bottoms off. Just wipe them dry, get as much of the liquid off as possible. Okay, now as you can see it's pretty clean. That was just one hit. I could go ahead and spray it again and uh, brush it and wipe it again. But I'm pretty happy with the results of this, this one hit, as you can see. It looks really clean, like really white. Let me compare it to the one that I didn't clean yet. This is the other pair that I haven't cleaned yet. They're pretty much both the same, um, just as dirty. 
but as you can see this one right here on the left is white okay and that was just one one pass all right so the bottoms are clean I'm done with the bottoms now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the top of the shoe what I'm gonna use for the top of the shoe is this this is the suede and nubuck kit this one is from foot action but you can get this anywhere it comes with a little eraser but I'm not gonna use this I don't need it so what I'm gonna do is brush off all the lint all the dust from the nubuck you know just brush it in all directions so that there's no dust on it Like I said, I'm doing it with one hand, so it's kind of difficult for me. But I uh, just want to show you real quick. Try to do the best as I can. Alright. So I got most of the dust off. Alright, let me see. Um, the shoe seems pretty clean. But I do see a little bit of um, fading right here. Um, that fading is probably just dirt. Whenever you have a black Nubuck shoe or a black suede and you see it kind of fading, it's not that the color is fading, but it could be just dirt. So that's when I, I use this. Suede and Nubuck Foaming Cleaner. This one's from Champs. It was $5.99. Um... Has it has this brush right here, but I don't use it because the this brush is too hard. It's plastic. It's hard, and I don't want to damage the material. So what I'm gonna use instead is this brush. This brush is from Timberland. I bought it a long time ago, and it's a lot softer. And that's what I use. So you take the spray. See how it's like discolored right here? I don't know if you can see it, but just put a little bit. Take the brush and just brush it like a circular motion. Okay. Then you grab the same cloth, try to use it, try to use a, a clean side. And again with a circular motion, just um gently um you know uh, rub it off. You don't gotta do it hard and you do see you know some of the dirt came out okay so I'm gonna keep doing a little bit more then I'm gonna grab the this thing again the sponge go ahead and brush that off so as you can see it's nice and black again it's a little wet right now, but when it dries off, it's gonna be nice and even, and that um, that uh fading is gone, cause that fading was just dirt. All right, I don't do it to the use the um, this here for the entire shoe, the entire upper. I only do it to spots that I see, like this color discoloration or fading. Okay, so I don't see any other. Um, dirt marks on the shoe so now what I'm gonna do I spray this right here this is um kiwi this is a cheap um, a cheaper brand got this at Target as well or Walmart I don't, I don't remember this is um, very inexpensive what it is it's just a, a shoe protectant for new buck and leather and suede pretty much all fabric and it waterproofs the shoe okay so after I clean the shoes, I uh, go ahead and spray. I spray the um, the upper of the shoe with this, just a light mist, and both sides. Okay, and um, that's that pretty much. The bottoms of the shoe. Um, sometimes I'll have like little rocks or whatnot inside the cracks of the shoe 
and I use this right here. This is just like a little, um, you know, it's a little toy knife. Um, I don't remember where I got this from. I think it was at a carnival or something. But you could use anything like a paper clip or any type of, um, you know, sharp pointy thing. And uh, what you do is you just, you know, scrape, scrap off, scrape off the um, any dirt or rocks or pebbles that's stuck in between. But I don't have any right now, so bottom is, is good so I didn't, I didn't really have to use this today okay just gonna scrub it off a little bit more make sure it's dry and that's pretty much it as far as cleaning the shoe all right also um, sometimes I use this right here odor eaters um, foot and sneaker powder destroys order I use this you could use this on your feet if you have smelly ass feet I don't have smelly ass feet but I do um, spray this in inside the shoe you know just once just to keep the shoe smelling fresh because I do wear these frequently and then what I would do is um, take the shoe horn put it back in and lace it up tight back to um, like factory lacing Put them back in the box, and um, there you go. Until the next time I wear it. All right. So if you guys are gonna do this, make sure you get um, towels, put it on the floor. All right, because this does get messy. Before, what I was doing was just spraying the, the scrubbing bubbles on the bottom of the shoe and just wiping it off, but you know it didn't really clean it as well. And as you can see, nice and clean. Just showing you the toe box when uh, it dried off after I, I cleaned it with the foam and as you can see you know it's all nice and even it's no more fading you see all right so I just wanted to show you that how it looks like when it does dry okay